Hello, this is Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall, and we're here once again with the Compaq Armada E500, a laptop that my good friend, the Flying Scotsman here on YouTube, sent me back in November. And today we're going to be doing an upgrade to it. We're going to be upgrading its five, maybe six gig hard drive to a full-fledged 40 gigabyte drive. So, um, we're going to do this with kind of a twist. You see, Jay put on a um, very special install of Windows 98, full of um, like inside jokes, memes, and whatnot. And I want to preserve that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the hard drive out of this and copy the um, data over to this new drive. So we can um, have an upgraded drive and retain the um, install that Jay put on here for me. So, um, First, I need to find an appropriate screwdriver. One moment. Okay, this might be a little overkill, but it'll probably work. Just need to take this latch off here. And here's the hard drive. Just slide it out. It's a IBM Travel Star from December 1998, and it's 6.49 gigabytes. Now, um, Another reason why I'm changing out this hard drive is not only is this hard drive a little too small for um, what I want to use this computer for, it's just um, starting to show signs of the fact that it's wanting to let go. Okay, there we go. You take it out of its caddy. Maybe this isn't the best screwdriver for the, for the job. <laughs> one moment. Okay, got a better one here, so... Let's get back to work. Alright, just one more. Or not. <laughs> there is like a little uh, thing here on the connector that. Huh. Ah, there we go. All right, before we can put this um, new drive in, we need to take this over to my main system. So um, let's move over there, shall we? Okay, got the hard drive here, and um, what we need to do is take my trusty IDE to USB adapter, which has seen better days, <laughs> and just connect it to the laptop end of um, this, like so. Okay, and then we'll um, plug it in front of my main PC I'm spinning up all right um sees the drive just fine so let's switch over to my uh, screen recorder shall we okay first of all I want to show um, this PC here um, there's the Compact's hard drive there. Um, we've got 2.34 gigs free of 6.03 gigs, so not a lot of space. And there's um, all the data that could be found on it. So um, what we need to do is we need to make an image of this drive. So um, we're going to use a little program called Matrium Reflect Free. And we got it right here. Just installed it actually. I thought I already had it on here, but I guess I didn't. And um, no, I don't want to register. And we got a list of all the drives connected to this computer. And what we need is 
the one at the very bottom, um, the 6.5 gig. So uh, let's just click this here to image it. And we need to find a um, folder to save it in. I usually um, save these images in a uh, folder there called Computer Backups. We'll give it a name, just name it E500. Now it's also possible to um, actually directly clone this to the new drive, but that would require a second USB to IDE adapter, which I unfortunately do not own. So we'll go ahead and click Next. Um, we don't want to have a backup schedule until it finish. And we'll run this backup now. This might take a little while. I'm not sure how long. Okay, I'll just um, have to pause the video here. Um, I don't want to have to wait 15 minutes for this. Okay, that took a lot quicker than I thought it would. So um, the image is um, complete. We'll go to the folder we saved it in, Computer Backups, and there it is right there. So let's unplug this drive and plug the other one in. Okay, new hard drive is plugged into the adapter, so we need to head back into Macrium Reflect. And this time we're going to go to this tab here. It says Restore. And it's already selected the um, image for us that we just made. So we'll click here where it says Restore Image. And we'll go down here to select a disk to Restore To. And we need to find that disk we just plugged in. And here it is. Um, it's like it already has a partition on there, but we'll just wipe it out. And we'll drag this over here. And we'll expand it. And hopefully this should work. We'll click finish and we'll confirm that and again this will probably take a little while to um, do so I will stop the video right here all right the restore is completed um, took a lot quicker than I expected in fact it um, already opened up the uh, directory for the drive and everything looks to be accounted for so I guess the next thing we need to do is um, unplug it from this computer here and put it into its new home, the um, Compaq Armada E500. So um, let's go ahead and do that. All right, time to put the hard drive back into um, its adapter and then back in the laptop. 
And here it is. If we can do this on camera. And this adapter is keyed, which is always a good thing. pinch my finger there. Okay, I'll go ahead and put the screws back in. Okay, uh, sorry I did that off camera there, but drive is in. Let's put the uh, cover back on. And I gotta go get a um, power adapter for it. One moment, please. All right, it'll um, power on as soon as I plug it in. Now, one thing I'm worried about is a lot of times when I've um, restored using Macrium Reflect, a lot of times the drive doesn't become bootable. And I don't know why it is, and I've never been able to find a fix for it, so hopefully that won't be the case this time. I need to quit kicking that tripod. I'm sure it doesn't make it very happy. <laughs> Right. I don't know if you can see it or not. Fingers crossed. Yay! <laughs> and for some reason it's wanting to run scan desk. And we'll cancel out of that. So this should be a um, faster, healthier, and more roomy hard drive for this system. So initializing the PC cards. And I probably will put a, I probably will replace this drive again at some point with a compact flash card. But this will do for now. It's definitely an upgrade from what was in there before. Still takes a little while to boot, but every E500 I've had in the past usually takes a while to boot Windows for whatever reason. Alright, we got a desktop. Not on the network at the moment. <laughs> Don't be alarmed, that's just the um, silly startup sound Jay put on here for me. <laughs> kind of an inside joke there, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to to uh, image the old drive to this new one so I could um, keep this install that Jay put on here for me. A few more things still need to be done to this laptop to make it um, more complete. Needs a new um, LCD screen because there's some little splotches on it which you might not be able to see on camera. Keyboard um, needs to be replaced because um, it's the UK layout and I prefer to have the US layout and it's very, very worn out. Um, and it also needs a new um, floppy drive. And if I can um, find one, um, miraculously, a battery. But anyway, I um, guess that'll do it for this video. Kind of a how-to on how to use a how to to uh, re replace the hard drive in one of these, as well as how to uh, clone it to another drive. So, 
until next time, this is Billy Core reminding you um, we have new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes in between if there's a special occasion. But until then, Billy Core signing off.